and a business, very, 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 very rare that you put your family's heads up on a business. Oh, yeah. Ministry. Family suffers. You know, and, and that's that's the next thing that I wanted to bring up that I've been thinking about a lot is like, okay, I, I'm making this faith walk. I'm making this decision to be in God's will. And I'm... I'm counted the cost, still counting the cost, <laughs> doing the best I can, right? Like, what's that dude on the balancing thing with the exactly, beam? Exactly, right, right? exactly. Right. Like, like, I know I don't know, and I'm kind of glad I don't know. But you wish but you I'm, knew. But I wish I knew. <laughs> but I'm gonna keep walking because I don't walking. quite know, I right? Know, I know that's and that's. I've got faith in the Lord. Of okay, Lord, but where it gets really hard is my family. They didn't just simply walk into this decision like I did. No. They're following me. Yep. And now, now m- my wife made a decision to walk with me through thick and thin. My kid was just born into this world. And it scares the ever living so ass out of me. And, and but here let's let's be real about that. Let's be real about this. Because it's true. It does me too. It does. You know, for for the first five years of my kid's life, my oldest kid, Isaiah, we put a picture of him up. He's grown up so fast. And mm-hmm. it bothers me like that I missed the first five years of his life. I did the very cardinal sin, man, of any minister is put ministry above my, my kids. And, you know, he's he's him and I have done a, a great job of like talking it out and stuff. He still thinks I'm too sarcastic and I got to watch that. And he's like, <laughs> Dad, you're almost you're always too sarcastic. He's right. I need to, you know, talk to them more and. So, but I just, dude, I mean, I got my squirts, man. Yeah. I just want to like razz them all the time and just, you know what I mean? Just have fun with them. But I get it. And, you know, my wife will tell you, I think we made a lot of decisions together. But I don't know of a decision that we made where we both didn't feel like, okay, we're doing this. Yeah. No matter what. And stepping out in faith, it was just natural to do. Yeah. I think it's probably yeah. because we just did it so much. But stepping out in faith and starting this ministry specifically, it just happened. And, and we didn't turn around. We didn't say, oh, my gosh. Now, there were times during it where it was like, why did we do this? But, I do, you know, we had a small little victory today, you know, like yeah. we were talking about it. Just those faithful moments of God have brought us to this. But I'm going to read this to you. This is, uh, I'm reading the, uh, the KJV, but this is called Comfort and Persecution. Check this out. This is uh, Matthew 10, uh, 16. It says this, Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Think, and, I, and I want people to Let's break really it down. settle in on that image. Break it down. Right? You've got sheep. Sheep who, dude, they're so s- stupid, so retarded. They'll walk <laughs> off a cliff if but they're somebody's sweet, not directing And they don't get out of their way. And, and, and they follow the voice of yeah. the leader. And you know what I mean? But they're getting sent out amongst wolves, which... If you've never seen a real wolf, it's it, you imagine a husky, but they're a lot bigger than that. Yeah, like and they're meaner. Two hundred forty pound timber wolf, that thing's pretty much staring you in the eyes. And and wolves yeah. are wild. They're wild, wild animals, right? Wild animals. So they're not tamed. They're wild. So you should be careful because you don't know what's going to happen. What's going to yep. trigger them? This is good stuff. Watch this. Be ye therefore wise as serpents. Be cunning. You ever watch a serpent in a fight? It knows what it, it's always got its eyes open. Yeah. It's always moving. They're they're very clever. They 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 know when to strike, how to strike. Moving to the side, they're protecting themselves. Yep. They're not showing weakness or vulnerability. So, but look at this, right? Sheep in the midst of wolves. Sheep don't hurt people. No, wolves do. So you're not supposed to hurt people. And then he says, "Be wise as a serpent. Be as cunning. Be as smart. Watchful. Be vigilant. That's yeah. what a serpent is. Harmless as a dove." This can't purposely offend people. It shouldn't. It's almost like be as naive as a sheep, smart as a serpent, harmless as a dove. (laughs) What? (laughs) Right? Now check this out. But beware of men, for they deliver you up to the councils. They will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. Hmm. Some of my church people, right? Yeah. And you shall be brought forth, governor. you're going to be brought before governors and kings for my sake. It, Guys, 
like that's prophecy, man. It's gonna happen. Government heads, you're, you're, and it's it's they, happened before. They will bring you. Look at what's going on in Canada and what's starting to come around in in America. Now it's church people being brought before the governmental bodies to be punished for what they're saying as a church member, yeah, as a preacher or a pastor or as an evangelist, as a prophet. They're being punished by the government and being delivered up by their own fellow men. Dude, we're there. I never saw this before, but watch this. And I might be wrong, but keep keep me on this one. You shall be brought forth before governors and kings for my sake for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. A testimony against kings. Jesus, Christians shouldn't be involved in politics. He just said, you shall be brought before the governors and kings as a, from a, for a testimony against them. Let's break that down. Right? Go with it. What are you testifying exactly against them evil about? deeds, man? The deeds you are propagating evil, dude. J- listen, just the slaughter of babies alone, and I don't care if you like this or not. We're going to talk about this. Listen, churches are filled with people right now that think it's okay that abortion is legal, no. which it's not. You can't legalize murder. That's stupid. That's asinine, right? It doesn't. You know, morality, we, everybody talks about it, but I'm kinda, I hope I can take this a different way. If morality is subjective, it's no longer moral. It's just whims. Just whims. There's no, there's no concreteness to your belief. Yeah. There's nothing to your foundation. There's nothing. I, I don't understand that. And if it's subjective, you can change it anytime you want. You can always make a direction change because it's subjective. Oh, what was wrong yesterday doesn't have to be wrong today. I know. Right? And that's as things get more and more hairy, especially in the Western world, people are going to try harder and harder to change the morals. They're going to try and make it more subjective. And we as Christians, if we hold to objective morality, in the face of that, we're going to be standing before kings and governors going, you're legislating evil and you're allowing evil Dude. in your country. This is the moral. This is the standard. And you've completely changed it and gone the wrong way. And we're going to get persecuted for that. Right. 